Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share the three things that are going through your ex's mind after a breakup. Stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm going to give you five solutions that you can do in the next five days that will win your ex back. I'm Dave Glazer, host of the Believe, Be Real, Be Bold podcast, and here are the three things going through your ex's mind right now. The first stage of their recovery after a breakup will be a feeling of relief that they ripped the band-aid off that they were probably pondering on for quite a while. Maybe it was a day or two, maybe it was a week, two weeks, maybe even a month, depending on how long you've been together, that they were pondering actually ending the relationship. You may be thinking of a multitude of reasons why they would end it, but it's best not to attach any meaning whatsoever to the relationship ending, because that's going to start you into this spiral and spinning of ruminating thoughts, will, which will just keep you stuck in the place of rock bottom that you're feeling at right now. The second stage that they're going through is concern or curiosity about why you're not reaching out and why you're not begging them to get back together. And that's one of the things that I recommend for our, our coaching clients is to stay true to yourself and have a period of no contact with your ex. That doesn't mean block them on social media. That doesn't mean begin playing games. It simply just means respect the fact that they wish for the relationship to end. This is the first step that you can take into reclaiming your own power after a breakup. And finally, the third stage that your ex is going to go through at an undetermined amount of time, it's different for everybody, is the consequences stage. They begin to think of like, what if I made the wrong decision? What if I broke up with them without truly considering all of my options? This is where they begin to ruminate and begin to try and connect the dots of those what if scenarios that they're creating in their head. Those are the three stages at which your ex is going through immediately after a breakup. That first stage of relief could be anywhere from three to five days, maybe a week or two. And then their period of concern can come maybe within the next month, especially if you're having zero contact with them. And that's a personal commitment that I recommend that you take for yourself. It's a period of no contact after a breakup so that you can both evaluate who you are as individuals and hopefully, possibly, get back together in the future. I wanna introduce a few ideas of what you can do in order to either win your ex back in the next five days or set yourself up on a life worth living true to your purpose, re-empowering who you are and who you felt like attracted this person to you in the first place. That first step is to make a commitment to yourself to have no contact with your ex. And you may be thinking that this is starting to play games, but it's actually not. When you have no contact, it allows them the space that they need in order to go through these three stages immediately after a breakup. That time frame is totally different for everybody. It could be one week, two weeks, a month, three months, six months, a year. We don't know. But when you take a personal commitment to yourself, it allows you to do the next things in order to either win your ex back or move on to something bigger and better for you. When you take a period of no contact, you're actually fighting for the relationship. A couple of reasons there is because you're respecting their choice to end the relationship and you're not repeatedly reaching out and begging, pleading for them to get back with you. This makes you feel more confident. This makes you appear more confident and confidence is one of the most attractive qualities that a partner is looking for. The second suggestion that I make for our clients is to make your life a priority. What hobbies do you enjoy that don't include your partner? For me personally, that's jujitsu. When I go through a breakup, I return to my regular jujitsu program, whether that was evening jujitsu classes, which are more challenging and they're more purposeful on my path. A couple of those suggestions to return to your hobbies are to go to the gym, uh, begin that nutrition program that you felt were one of, or two of the reasons why you attracted that person to you in the first place. Those things that are important to you that you may feel you abandon to please somebody else or to make space for them in your life. Third suggestion I'd like to make is don't socially pout. When you pout or post things on social media that your ex can see hoping to send a message, you are more coming across in a pouty manner. It takes your value down and it takes their value up because they were the person that broke up with you. We want our value to be risen in the first few weeks to a month after a breakup. 
if you have any hopes of getting back together with this person, this is the number one thing that I want you to steer clear of. Additionally, I want you to do any of your work on yourself, uh, wallowing in that period of self-pity or um, what could I have done better? I want you to do that privately with a coach, with a friend, with a trusted circle of a uh, group that you feel like you can be open with privately. Don't do that publicly on social media. During this period of no contact, if your ex reaches out in any way, whether that's a direct message on social media, a text message, or a phone call, maybe it's something arbitrary of like, can I pick something up from your place that I left behind? Be polite, but indifferent. If they ask, how, how have you been? You know, everything has been good. I've been returning to my hobbies. I've picked up those two evening jujitsu classes that I loved. And you're showing that your value isn't dependent on them being your partner or them being in your life. You've returned to what makes you great, what makes you an individual, what made you attractive to them in the first place. And finally, continuously remind yourself that this is not playing a game. What we are doing is we're creating authentic and organic dissonance, which can be described as your partner going through the three stages after a breakup on their own, at their own pace, and it begins to creep into their mind of like, did I make a mistake? Do I want my ex back? Do I want to reach out? And that puts us back on an evil playing field. When your ex breaks up with you, that puts them on a one up, one down type of a mentality. And they're thinking of you as helpless. If you socially pout on social media, that's going, going, only going to confirm their bias in their mind. So to stay authentic and conscious as you move forward out of your breakup, these are my three things that your ex are thinking of right now and the five or six things that you can do to either win that ex back or move on to bigger and better things that are meant for you. Click the link in the description below so that you can get all five steps that I wanna to give to you today absolutely free that can help you get over your ex in the next five days. My name is Dave Glazer, host of the Believe, Be Real, Be Bold podcast for authentic dating in Denver, Colorado.